I love the sea because it's just part of island life. Hello, hi. Hello. You never get tired of the view. It just draws you back, you know? I wouldn't live anywhere else. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, that's all right for a wee one. Here we are. You got that one? Oh, yeah. well done. We've been collecting buoys now for 30 years. You know, long before it really became fashionable to collect plastic off the beaches. And it was my eldest son wanted to collect buoys. And I, I remember him a toddler at the beach. And he insisted on pulling this white plastic buoy home. And I thought, well, he's brought it so far. So I helped him carry it up the beach. And then we just had masses of them. And at the time I was painting. And then I thought, oh, I could just paint the buoys. So I started to paint the buoys and um, we, we just decided then to develop it. We're at Armadale Pier in Slate. It's a lovely day and we're just going to head out, Carl and I, to go and see if we can find some buoys on the beaches. There was a storm the other day with a bit stronger wind so there may well be something wash, washed up and we'll do, we'll do a trip and see what we can find. Yeah, see how we go. Bye Wallace! Okay! When we first moved here, there was definitely a lot more rubbish. Toothbrushes, lighters, and just bottles, a lot of bottles. But now it's been cleaned up quite a bit. We're just doing our bit, you know, by doing what we're doing. I feel um, if you do a little bit all the time, it, it builds up and um, it has a positive effect. That was fun. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I've always painted, I've painted since I was a wee girl. And, um, you know, I've always just enjoyed it. And it just makes me totally relax. My mum says that uh, her grandfather was an artist. My brother was very good at art. So I think it's just there, you know, it's in the family a bit. And I just enjoy it. I do it for myself as well, you know, I just enjoy it. And I enjoy doing it with the children when they, were, when they were young. I've got a large family. I've got six kids. I've got five boys and a girl. So I've got Connor, he's the eldest. I've got Rudy, and then there's Finlay. Then there's Lewis, then there's Maya, and then there was a wee gap, and we had a wee notion, and we had Lyndon. The house, when we had uh, all the children there, is just chaotic, but a bit lovely. You know, there's, it's just wonderful. Since the children have grown up, I've definitely got more time, more time for my art. Even just sitting here, it's just amazing to be able to sit still for 10 minutes. And to be able to sit and paint, it's just wonderful. Usually what inspires me to want to paint on the buoys is my surroundings, where I live. I love birds, I love the wildlife, um, and I do like, you know, the vibrant colours. This is a popular design, this one with the puffins. I do change it slightly. Sometimes I just have the one puffin, but then this one I just think, ah, oh, they're so in love, and then um, it's just a nice design and then have the one sitting and he's almost looking like he's a bit envious of this couple. My husband's a retired fisherman. He splices them with manila natural rope and um, we gloss them. And they can be used for decor, for hanging decor, garden decor. 
I'm going to spice it this buoy, this buoy now, and um, using this uh, this natural jute rope. This pricing is from the Fishing and Fish Farming Times as well. Yeah. Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, then done. Maybe a wee bit more rolling. Maybe a wee bit more rolling between the okay, two ropes. Yeah. Make it smooth. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, it's lovely. There we are. There we are. Okay. Thanks. That's it. Yep. Thanks very much. Another one done. <laughs> okay. Scouting for booze is just an extension of our lifestyle. Um, we live quite a modest lifestyle. You know, we grow our own veg. Um, we never travel very much. So it's just part of our life. It's just the way we are. We make doing mend. We moved here um, a few years ago. We've had the croft for 20 years, but we built the house about four years ago. So this is our garden down here. So we've got our carrots and our, our French beans and our beetroot and then our tomatoes and then our lettuce. That's a pile of buoys from egg. So that'll keep me going for a wee while. The ring ones are getting more rare. But I get really excited when I find a buoy that's slightly different. You know, like, like this one here, the dimpled ones. I was so excited. When we found that. These shoes I'm wearing, we found them on the beach, but we couldn't find a pair, so we just got a right and a left. The view from the house is fantastic. It's the white sands of Mora, and it gives me inspiration too to paint. You know, I've seen me, I do just sit there and I just paint that. I'm just going to take this down to my wee art hut. Come in, Wall. Wallace. I was maybe stuck in the field. Oh, come on, Wall. Come on. Oh, good boy. My wee hut at the end of the road. My father-in-law kindly made that for me, and um, it's a, it's just got an honesty box, and I've never had one thing taken. A lot of local people have been very supportive and, you know, bought buoys from me. And um, so it's a mixture of the tourists and the locals. I, I think that the fact that nobody's ever pinched anything from the honesty box or stolen a buoy reflects the community and the honesty that is on the, on the islands. I still can't quite believe that people really like my art. But, but for me, painting, I just relax and I just... Actually, it's true, I ache if I don't paint. After a few days, I literally start to ache, I want to paint. My long-term plan for Scouting for Booze is just to keep doing it as it is, really. I mean, I, I just love painting. And as long as people appreciate my art, appreciate my painting and appreciate the collection of the plastic.